I feel like I start these videos saying the exact same thing. It's great to be back. I'm back because there's a golf tournament on this week. Um, the clo the closed? <laughs> of course, it is open week. One of my most favourite weeks on the golf calendar. And of course, we're at Royal Liverpool. So what I thought we'd do is get our ass back on PGA Tour 2K23 to try and find a golf course that resembles Royal Liverpool. Liverpool. Now, this is not my favourite... Um, but one of my least favourite open venues. I still really like it. There's not really a course I dislike on the open calendar. But this one, I feel like it's tough. Okay, this is quite interesting. So when you search for it, you get five courses. Th Friday here on the top left has just popped up. That wasn't here two seconds ago. This one had no rounds played two seconds ago when I checked. And it's now it's got four and a half stars. And I thought this was an exclusive because it had zero on it. These two are the popular ones at the bottom, but th these are like set up as if you if you paid a green fee. But we're definitely going to be playing the Thursday one because I, pl I had a quick look at this and it was very impressive. This is Yeltsman's Royal Liverpool Open Thursday. <laughs> the size difference gets me every time. Okay. So first hole has caused a few headaches, hasn't it? Especially with the wind coming off the right on the coast. So a lot of people have been overdoing it. The wind's not touched it, and a lot of people have ended here, which is usually a lot thicker than what it what it is. Or people have been trying to kill people down the left of one. It's been a quite a tough fairway to actually hit. Um, should be all right though. Maybe we can get just short of this. So it's eighty percent. So we might, I'm going to go a bit longer just to make sure we get over this bunker because if you've been watching any of the Open, you'll know how mad these pot bunkers are. So yes, if you join the Team Owl Society, we'll, we'll be having an Open event for the next week. So make sure you jump on in. Uphill five. So I know Spieth's one of the best putters in the world. was saying how hard it is. Um, it run, it's running fast and it's like double undulations. Very hard to judge the putts. Now, if he's saying that, it's quite crazy. But, like I say, it's not one of my favourite golf courses on the open calendar, purely because it's not, I won't say it's featureless. Um, 17's definitely causing a bit of a stir. Everyone's talking about it, with how difficult it is. But it's very much, if you can get your ball in play, you can shoot a crazy number. This could be good, you know. Don't want that one back, pop it, do we? He needs a, he needs a haircut. Well, I do too, actually. Should both go together. One under, through two. Good little start. If you could do us a huge favour, guys, and you do like the video, I uh, need a bit of motivation on the old gaming videos, but a like would go a long way, if you wouldn't mind. I've just tonked that. Get gone, boy. Right. I might be too much that. Oh no, I've chunked it P uh, purposely because I knew there's a bank there. So <laughs> we're all right. I'm gonna give this. This needs to go. Ah, ooh, bit too much of the go. So what you just saw there, and on 18 as well, you've got like an internal dog leg out of bounds, which causes a huge issue. If I was stepping up and I was hitting that sort of shape and I couldn't get rid of it I'd be quite concerned about this round I feel like a draw gets you out of more trouble than if you've got like a blocky fade going off especially where the outer bounds are located I think a few of the guys sit <laughs> typical open greens that would have rolled right down IRL sit a lot of the guys have said if they've got a two-shot lead going down 18, because 18 is playing. <clears throat> 18's playing over par for a par five, which is wild. And then you've got 17, two. You know, if you you need like three or four shot cushion just to get home safe, just in case, because they are card wreckers. But I think some of the guys said for the tee shot on 18, they're considering it down the first just to make sure they're not near the out of bounds. But I think they should stick an out of bounds left just to really throw them. <laughs> Par five, fifth, 
Wind's behind. It's slightly downhill. This hopefully should be enough club. It is. Oh, sit. It's got to turn. It has to turn. It, uh, the other way. <laughs> of course. Okay. Steady start. So can we beat, what was it, five under? If I do that, that makes me better than tour players. Don't like that shape. A little slow on this game is savage. Awful. Turn in. Got to turn in. Got it. Oh, look at, at the crowd. Not really giving me much. Oh, loves that. Nuked into the wind. It's gone. It's still gone 300 yards. Nine. I think that should be enough. It might catch this bank here and roll close. That's my little hope. Oh, be the club. It is, it's the club. It's definitely safe over those bunkers. This is where you've got to be sensible. Especially that pin position. Long would have been fine. You just don't want to be short sided. Short. Short sided. Short. You just want to be short sided. Short. Can't buy a putt. I can hold chips, but not put. Bang. Rocket ship. Kick. Do you know what I mean? It seems a bit same samey. I know like middle of St Andrews can, um, but you kind of learn the holes. This isn't. It's not the same level of prestige. I'm sure, you no, know, it's a cracking course. I'd love to go and play it, but yeah, it's just little fiddly. Oh, I missed it. Little fiddly par fours. Internal out of bounds is probably the feature in 17. Is that cutting in? Is that long enough? Don't get in the bunker. Oh, you lucky boy. You lucky, lucky boy. It's going to turn a lot. So it's going to break left to start with. We'll go there. Now in. Not enough. Not far away though. Not a bad little read. Two under through nine. So we need to get the birdies on to try and match the first round score of five under. It looks like a human chinchilla. This is a par four, and I'm gonna have to go in with five wood. Should we sit dead centre that? Get up. No. Yeah, so obviously with design you can't do the pot bunkers, which I'm kind of glad for me. <laughs> That's awful. Get up. Didn't turn out too bad. Good save. Crikey. Okay. Bang. Oh, I've just shanked it. Four right. I thought we even made them. 221 yard duck hook. Look at this little sneaky, sneaky hole. This. So we're going to play it, play it off that bunker. It should go dead center with the wind. Of course, management and it feeds its way around. See, I could be a caddy. It hit. Had the line. Still steady. Bogey free would be good round here, but we've not got to 17 or 18 yet. Which is just brutal. Sit now, sit now, sit now, don't sit then. That's in cabbage. 70% rough, which is not wonderful. Straight down it if it's enough still it is. Now soft. Soft. Feed in, feed in, feed in, feed in, feed in. You take that. Good recovery. Chinchilla boy. Come in. I think we've got it. We've got it. Three under. Oh, we did bogey. Sorry, we did bogey. So it's downhill. Play off that bank. There's always natural drawing. 
and hole in one. Soft. It's okay. It's okay. Steady, steady, steady. The funny thing is, look at that view. Like if you watch the open and look at the backdrop, it's, it's stunning. And you don't associate that with Liverpool, do you? You associate it as Merseyside. But no, it's this is a gorgeous coastline for golf. And I've just flipping bogeyed that. All the way down, golf courses are incredible. Well worth coming. Um, some of the best courses in the world down there. Stunner. Get up. Oh, I just got lucky there, I think. Did, did we? It's going to come out right. I'm going to hit a club up because it's going to pop up in the air. I've played the shot. <laughs> That's it. I think we've completed the game. Got to ready it. Oh, what a shot. <sighs> Made up for that bogey. Now 15, this is where it starts to get a bit more fun. Laser beam of a drive was needed. He's done a very good job of designing this. I, we can't get there, this is saying. We're going to hit it further with the three wood, apparently. So we'll go with that. Wendell bring it back straight into that bunker. Lovely. <laughs> he wants to be a caddy, he says. So big splash, lots of zip. Oh, this could be... If this spins, this is grand. It's not, has it? We've done all right. Done all right. Still chance to go four under. Got it. So we need one out of these next few holes, and this hole is a stinker of 16. Great drive, though. Great drive, Al. If you say so yourself. Here with the wind, it's uphill green, so short would be decent. I've pulled that, haven't I? Shit. Sit. Oh, this is stinky. This is going to be a stinky putt or chip. Okay, there. Just have to chip it in. Okay. Still four. Going to 17. Look at that. Doesn't it make you just want to vomit up golf balls? It's nine behind. You're going to come in soft with a fade. It's make it onto that next tier. You don't want to be long either, you see, so you've got to be very careful. Uh, dead centre. It's okay. It's not wonderful. It's very scary. That pin position for a Thursday is rank. This goes easy. Flipping 17 this set. <laughs> Get. <laughs> Boom. There's your five. Now, can we hold off? Hold on. Could we beat the five under round is the question. But this is the stinker. Out of bounds. Internal. On the right. You've got to be careful. And then you've got to go. Do you risk it over the corner? We are. He's nuked it. And this is towards the bunkers of doom, I'm going to call them. Because they just gather everything up. This is the exact same shot that Rory had, I'm pretty sure. Um, the second one. Can we play it like him? Yes, we can. Oh! I can't get it closer than Rory in a game. Right. Six under for the win. Didn't hit it. Five under. That was class. Whoever designed that, hats off to you. That was good fun. So that was a 5 under 66. Very enjoyable. 72% green regulations, 57% fairways, which is not a bad start around there, to be quite honest with you. Uh, there'll be many that won't even hit a fairway. It just rolls firm into the big cack. But I've got to say, Yeltsman, that was fantastic. Well done. I uh, hope you enjoyed that, guys. If you did, please hit the subscribe button, the bell notification if you don't already follow us, and comment down below and hit the thumbs up. Cheers to all of that. Do all of that. Thanks.